So we are in the MSPO and the Leonardo uh, stand, uh, and we will talk about the helicopters. You are very successful. Finally, it was great success to deliver uh, helicopters for the Polish naval system. That was great success, and you are going to prolong the success to modernize Sokol, which is be behind of us. And uh, can you talk about the general plans of your company uh, in Poland regarding uh, rotorcraft? Uh, Dzień dobry, uh, welcome uh, to the Leonardo stand. Uh, so we have uh, many plants uh, in the rotary wing sector uh, for, uh, for the Polish Army Forces, many proposals. Uh, first of all, uh, now we are in front of uh, the W3 next generation uh, uh, helicopter that we are proposing uh, to the Polish Army Forces in cooperation with Polish Army Group. It is based on a new modern avionics, uh, new weapon system and, uh, and new, new blades. blades. Yes, exactly, new blades. So the avionics is derived from the uh, avionics of the W169, is a modern avionics based on the three multifunction display and uh, incorporates a number of technologies like uh, for axis uh, digital uh, autopilot, uh, synthetic vision system, uh, uh, FADEC, so a full authority digital engine control, flight management system, and it's integrated with the weapon uh, 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 system. Uh, the new blade is uh, uh, developed in space of development in Zvidnik, is based on... Uh, so Polonized. It's polonized, totally polonized, so it's a totally uh, Polish uh, uh, so I could proposal. I could consider that as an Italian-Polish joint project, because you put a yeah, lot uh, of uh, systems uh, from uh, for which the developer exactly, by, exactly, by the Leonardo exactly. into the Polish I, uh, I would say mainly Polish, uh, with uh, some Italian, uh, let's say, uh, 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 in, in incorporation of technologies, but mainly Polish, uh, so done by Polish engineers. Uh, uh, in particular, the, uh, the blade, I would like to, uh, to emphasize the, 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 the new performances given by this uh, new uh, blade. That will increase the... Uh, the exactly, the because the, there will be a new flight envelope for this uh, uh, helicopter uh, that increased the, the max takeoff weight of around 200 kilos, so giving uh, more capabilities to this uh, helicopter and even uh, the, the uh, speed and also other performances of the helicopter. Uh, and you have also uh, another uh, uh, customers which still use Sokol in all over the world. Is the, does the offer also for for the uh, po uh, potential foreign uh, offers of the helicopters? Of course, uh, the plan is uh, is once that we uh, can have uh, this uh, contract uh, also to extend to enlarge the the possibility for uh, export market. And what about the other hel other helicopters which are produced in Schwednik? Uh, well, um, we um, are very proud of uh, how uh, Zvidnik is uh, is uh, is working uh, uh, in in the, in the Leonardo Group. Uh, as you probably know, we have invested a lot in uh, in this facility. Uh, that today is a modern uh, facility uh, that is uh, working in practice for all the main uh, helicopter is programs. Is it possible to say this is one of the key? Uh, assets uh, exactly. key in in the Leonardo helicopters. Totally true. Uh, totally true. In fact, uh, we are used to say that uh, Poland is our domestic uh, country. Why? Because the uh, presence of Zvidnik in the Leonardo Group is functional for the conduct of the business in the helicopter sector. That's why we consider Poland our domestic country. Thank you very much uh, that you consider that. And what about the talks between you and the uh, users? It means Polish Air Force and the Polish uh, Army. I mean, uh, uh, I, I mean about the modernizing Sokol. Those uh, talks are on right now? The talks are on. Uh, we uh, are also uh, um, uh, having a new uh, customer support organization in Zvidnik uh, in order to be more uh, efficient and effective in uh, supporting uh, all the rotary uh, um, uh, wing fleet uh, of Polish uh, Armed Forces. And I think that the customer is appreciating uh, this new posture of uh, uh, Leonardo and Pesele Zvinnik in Poland. So for, first of all, servicing, the quality of the servicing, cooperation with the customer, and they will produce new, let's say, face of uh, your company into the Polish, uh, exactly. into the exactly. Polish uh, uh, Air Force. Exactly. With this uh, new customer support organization, we want to take care uh, about the customer satisfaction because we believe that is the first uh, uh, way 
to, to be appreciated by, by, by the customer. And in parallel, we are uh, uh, discussing regarding uh, this new uh, version of uh, uh, W3 uh, Soco. Thank you very much and I wish you success and I look forward for details of your cooperation uh, in uh, the daily service of uh, your helicopters in Polish naval service. Thanks a lot. Uh, of course, I would like to also to remind that we are proposing uh, to the Polish Army Forces uh, the participation on the AW249 combat helicopter for uh, fulfilling the crew requirement. This is a very important uh, proposal uh, on which uh, we uh, um, are uh, envisioning uh, the participation, uh, the, the full participation of Polish aviation industry uh, with uh, the, the chance to have uh, the final assembly line of the AW249 in Petzl Svidnik. So you offer for Krug the Polish helicopter, Polish Italian helicopter produced in Poland, totally or more, almost totally Polonized. Yes, yes, almost polonized, uh, uh, with also a, a, the participation on, uh, for the export market. So it will be a full-fledged uh, partnership between uh, uh, Leonardo uh, and the uh, Polish uh, aviation industry. Thank you very much and I wish you success in Poland, in helicopter, not in only helicopters, in rotocraft. Dziękuję bardzo. Thank you. Thank you.